everyone and welcome to Math Mantra. Today in this video, we will talk about magic of multiplications with ones. Take a look at these problems on the screen and see if you can answer these questions without using calculator within 30 seconds total. In other words, 10 seconds each question. So let's start the understanding the pattern with smaller number and then we will apply the same pattern to the larger number multiplications and see how it holds. So let's start with 11 times 11. The number of digits in the 11 is 2 and number of digits in other number which is also 11 is 2. So basically we are trying to understand how the square works or how when a number is multiplied by itself will work right. So what we will do is number of digits. First thing we will do is write the number of digits underneath it. So in this case 2 and 2. Now we'll start from 1 and go all the way up to the number of digits and then come back down to 1 and that's the pattern as simple as that. So let's start applying it. So what we're, what are we going to do? So we start with 1, we go all the way to the number of digits in this case 2 and then come back down all the way to 1 which is in this case 121. So let's start applying the same pattern to 111 times 111. In this case the number of digits is 3. So we'll start again with the same pattern. We'll start again with 1. Go all the way to the number of digits which is in this case 3 and go all the way down to 1 right. So 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 and then we can start applying where you know how many digits are and depending on that we can figure out what the number is in this case. You start from right go at 3 and then put a comma and again so 5 digits is 10,000 number right. So it's 12,321. So let's apply the same pattern again. We start from one, go all the way to the number of digit and come back down to one, right? And that's our pattern, as simple as that, right? So we will apply this pattern to some other larger number and see how it holds and how easy it is to find the answers of even larger number without using calculator, right? So are you guys ready? Let's do some more. So let's see. 1111 times 1111 so first thing again we do is find out how many number of digits in the multiplication number that we're trying to multiply with right so in this case 4 so we go all the way up to 4 and come back down to 1 so start from 1 go all the way to the number of digits which is 4 and come back down so 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 which is 1 million 234,321 easy isn't it so let's do some more. So what if we do 11,111 times 11,111? Again, the number of digit is the first thing we try to find out, which is very easy, five. Go from one all the way to five and come back down to one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. In this case, 123,444,321. Now, what if we are given one more? 111,111 square so in this case the number of digit is 6 so we go all the way from 1 to 6 and come back down so the number then becomes 12,345,654,321 easy isn't it so the question comes is okay all these questions so far we've learned uh, the pattern only that ap applies to find the square of any number with the magic number ones in it right what if you have unequal number of digits in the multiplication how do we go about those well good thing is there is there is another pattern that we can use for unequal number of digits and that pattern is not as easy as this but still very easy i promise you'll be able to find even unequal number of digits within less than 10 seconds so are you ready let's talk about those patterns as well so let's get started with a smaller number 11 times 111 again first thing we all know is unequal number of digits right so what do we do we do the same thing we write down the number of digits first so number of digits in 11 is 2 and number of digits in 111 is 3 we know number of digits in 11 is smaller number which is 2 and the number of digits in 111 is a larger number which is 3 so how do we go about multi multiplying these numbers well 
It's pretty simple still. What do we do is we go, we start from one, go all the way to the smaller number of digits out of the two. So in this case, smaller number digit is two, right? So we go one and two. Now, before coming down to one, we'll repeat that larger number multiple times. Well, how many times will repeat? Well, that depends on the difference between the number of digits in the larger number and number of digits in the smaller number, plus one. So let me explain. So in this case, the difference between the number of digits in the larger number to the smaller number is one, plus one is two. So let's start again. Let's slow down. So number of digits in the larger number is three number of digits in the smaller number is 2. So difference between them two is 3 minus 2 equals 1, right? And then we add one more, which is the pattern. So 3 minus 2 plus 1. So that is 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 1 is 2. So we'll repeat that larger number. Which larger number? The one that we looked at just by figuring out the number of digits in the smaller number, which is 2. So we repeat that 2 which is the larger number in the answer so we'll never see digit 3 or larger in the entire solution out of this multiplication why because the smallest the number of digit in the smaller number is 2 so we'll never see any digits 3 or higher in the answer so that's why I say larger number larger number in the in the answer so we'll repeat that number 2 two times so 1 2 2 1 Let's do one more because it's a little bit tricky, but once you understand, it's very, very easy to apply. So let's do 11, 11 times 1111. So in this case, again, let's start by writing the number of digits. 11 has two number of digits and number of digits in 1111 is four, right? So again, we start from one, go all the way to which number? Well, we go all the way up to the number of digits in the smaller number. So in this case, two, and then we repeat that number, which is number two, multiple times. Well, how many times? Well, that depends on the difference between the larger number, a number of digits in larger number and number of digits in smaller number. So again, the difference between the number of digits in the larger number to the number of digits in the smaller number, which is four minus two plus one so we repeat that number two three times again so we start from one we go all the way to a number that number only depends on one number which is the number of digits in the smaller number so in this case number two so we go all the way to two and then we repeat two multiple time and then come back down to one and how many times we repeat that number two multiple time the multiple time means the four is the number of the digits in the larger number minus two which is the number of digits in the smaller number plus one so four minus two is two plus one so three times okay so we already looked at 11 times 111 is one two two one let's do 111 times 1111 so in this case we are multiplying a number with the three digits and to another number where the number of digits is four, right? So we go all the way from one all the way to the number of digits in the smaller number, which is three in this case, right? Because 111 has only three digits in it. So we go all the way to three and come back down to one. However, we repeat number three multiple time. And that multiple time depends on the difference between the number of digits. So four minus three plus one. 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 1 is 2. So we repeat that number 3 two times and then we come back down to 1. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. So 123,321, right? So let's do one more. 111 times 11,111. So just by looking at the previous example and this one, you can see there is smaller number is the same and the larger number has gone up by one digit, right? So essentially, the difference between the larger number of digits to the smaller number of dig digits grew by one. So essentially, you repeat that three one more time. So you'll see one, two, three, 
1,233,321. So 1,233,321. So let's do a couple of more. As you can see, when we did 111 times 111,111, we we have three digits and six digits, right? So we are trying to multiply three digit number to a six digit number, right? So we go all the way to number three. Why? Because that's the smaller, that's the number of digit in the smaller number. So we go one, two, three, and then we repeat three multiple time. And that multiple time is basically six minus three plus one. So four times. So one, two, three, 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 two, one right and if we did one one more 1111 times 11111 so we are multiplying the first thing we do is we do write down the number of digits so we are multiplying four number of digit to num five number of digits right so we go all the way up to four because that's the number of digits in 1111 which is the smaller of the two and so one two three four and we repeat number four multiple times before we go all the way down to one so in this case five minus four plus one so five minus four is one plus one is two so we repeat number four two times so one two three four four three two one and with the same pattern if we did 1111 times 111,111 we 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 get one two three four 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 three two one so i hope you like the pattern and learn something that you could use to show to your friends and family and also you i hope you're able to answer these three questions go back to original questions that we started off of you are able to answer these three questions without using calculator in less than 30 seconds so let me know in the comment section down below how many seconds you had to use without using calculator to answer all three questions correctly. And you can verify your answer using calculator later on, but do not start with the calculator. I, I know you can do it. If, you, if you're still unable to do it, please let me know your question or concern in the comment section down below. If you want to learn something new about math, or please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hope to see you in next video.